Welcome back to my channel, Sunshine Shoulders. I'm Calvin. Thank y'all so much for stopping by again today. The average adult expat in the Philippines spends more time on the toilet than he does traveling. Don't be average, ladies and gentlemen. I didn't come 8,000 miles to be average. Let's talk about some of the things that average expats do. I'm coming back to you from beautiful Gumasa Beach in Glen Serengani. Beautiful Tuesday evening. Well, is it Wednesday? I can't remember. Yeah, Wednesday. We just don't do a lot of traveling once we get here. And I, I kind of get it. You know, it's a long way. For most of us, it's about 18 hours in the air. The average expat, adult expat, spends about 18 hours in the air to get to the Philippines. And they just want to settle in and relax once they get here. So the average adult expat goes to about five islands once he gets here. For his whole time that he's here. We just don't travel that much. And that includes the island that he or she decides to settle on and they usually do the circuit Barakai, Pang Lao Bahal, Palawan and then you can add the other one but you see on average about five islands the average expat has three and a half girlfriends before he finally finds someone that he can get along with that is compatible I, you know it's hard for me to use that word compatible but just for the video I use compatible three and a half cultural differences age gap what they're looking for what you're looking for so the average expat goes through three and a half women before he finally finds somebody that he really settles down with. In my case, I it was four. Four or five, I, I can't remember. So that's that's about true. One big uh, statistic that I think y'all can all agree with, the average adult expat, 80% leave the Philippines within two years of coming here. They either go home or go to some other place, but on average, 80% leave within two years. That's a lot. They just can't handle it. It's too much to get too too much to get uh, adjusted to over here. For some people, it just isn't what they thought it was. For a lot of people, they just aren't physically or mentally able to cope with what the Philippines is or what it isn't. So on average, 80% of all expats leave the Philippines within two years. Now let me stop right there and say Western expats because it's a big difference. But yeah, they're usually gone within within two years. I know a lot of y'all gonna scratch your head and be like, oh, I'm gonna stay. And that's what they all say. Your intentions are good, but you can't handle it. Here's a pretty good one right here. The average adult expat in the Philippines loses, on average, about 10 pounds in his first 60 days here. His comfort foods aren't here. The foods that he's used to eating just aren't here. But eventually, once he gets... Seldom gets his feet up underneath him, he'll gain those 10 pounds back. And a lot of times, because like I said, you spend more time on the toilet than you do traveling. You'll gain it back. You also spend more time on the toilet than you do exercising. So they kind of go hand in hand. Look how dark that is under there. Remember I was telling y'all about the forest. Look at that. Look how dark that is. 
it's nighttime, but it's like that. And if you don't believe me, I'm going to put a clip in here to show you. When it was lighter outside, it was still that dark in there. Look under there. People are living there, I guess. But it's super black in there. But yeah, on average, you lose about 10 pounds and you spend more time on the toilet than you do exercising. This is just facts, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just trying to give you some information about the average adult expat. So don't be average. I know some of these things you're going to scratch your head and be like, that's not me. But if you get honest with yourself and give it some time, you're going to come back to this video and say, yeah, Calvin was right. I know my buddy Freddie Sanders, hell, he hasn't even been here 30 days yet. I think August 8th will be 30 days for him. And I know he lost over 10 pounds. I hardly recognized him at the meet and greet. And I said, man, what happened? He said, man, I just haven't been. He said, I'm real picky when I come over here at what he, of what he eats. But yeah, on average, you're going to lose about 10 pounds. I may do my routine out here before we leave because we're supposed to be leaving in the morning. This really is a beautiful place, man. Look how clean the sand is. It's as white of, of a beach as you're going to see in the Philippines. I'm just telling you that it is. Maybe because of where it's located. Not many people come here. But look at that. It's about as white of a sand as you're going to see here in the Philippines. I'm glad Merlin got out a little bit. She, at the meet and greet, she drank a little bit too much. Because Merlin really doesn't drink. And it had her down for the count for a couple of days. But yeah, on average, the average adult expat in the Philippines has a pension 2200 US dollars. That's the highest of the high and the lowest of the low. Now we're talking about expats, people who come here to live permanently. We're not talking about visitors. We're talking about people who, who, who set their anchor and move here. It's $2,200. And that's, that's a reasonable amount of money over here in the Philippines. Being that the average Filipino earns about $300 per month. But this isn't a budget video. We're not going to talk budgets because if, when you're deep down south in Mindanao, as we are right now, it gets uh, pretty inexpensive to live. Especially in this barangay. This is Gumasa. Barangay Gumasa in Glen. That's why they call this uh, Gumasa Beach. G-U-M-A-S-A. -A. But yeah, the average adult expat in the Philippines has a pension or residual income of about 2200 U.S. per month. And that should give you a decent enough lifestyle over here. I mean, it doesn't go far in the West, but over here it will. And that's really what we're looking for. A place where our money can go further. We can get more bang for our buck. You know, if you look up one of the worries of, of seniors, one of them is they're going to outlive their money. Or they're not going to have enough money. When you come to the Philippines, you you should have enough money. If, if you're nearing retirement age right now, you should know how to manage your money. That's why a budget video is not going to help you a whole lot. You should already know how to manage your spending. Because if you don't at 60, 70 years old, I'm, I'm sorry, no budget video is going to help you. But that's on average. 
But that's just some things I wanted to talk to y'all about. So don't be average. I didn't come 8,000 miles to be average. I take some risk. Hey. I am. Sunshine Shoulders. Yeah. Sunshine Shoulders. Sunshine? Shoulders. Yeah. How are you? I'm fine. Where are you from? Are you from Glen? Yes. Glen. Okay. Again? <laughs> Sunshine? Shoulders. Shoulders. Yeah, like shoulders. Sunshine shoulders. Nice to meet you. Huh? You're welcome. Yeah, I didn't come here to be average. No balls. Uh, USA. <laughs> no balls, no blue chips. The bigger the risk, the bigger the rewards. We're going to be on the road tomorrow for about eight hours. We're going to go from here to... Again, the oil roll. Merlin doesn't want to fly back, so we're going to take the two go back into Cebu, maybe spend a day in Cebu. But we took a risk coming down here. Not a real big risk, but it was worth it. So get off your behind. Get off the toilet, man, when you come over here, man. Challenge yourself. Do something. Lose weight. Get in better shape. Stop smoking. Stop drinking. Do something, man. I'm trying to make this the best time of my life, really. The fourth quarter. Save the best for last. I'm, I mean it. I'm not just on here babbling. I really mean that, you know, because y'all know how I feel about planes. Which it's all in my head, but I got on that plane. I wasn't going to miss that meet and greet in DeVal for nothing in the world. It was worth it. But my brother, I got news that he was found unresponsive, man. He's seven. He'll be 70 in October. I don't think he's ever been out of the country before. As a matter of fact, I'm sure he hasn't. I hope he's going to be okay. I'm going to keep my, my eyes and ears on that situation because, you know, that's my big brother. He literally is like my father when our father left. So if something were to happen to him, I'd certainly go home no matter what. But yeah, I guess the Philippines is a lazy place for real. This is what the Philippines is. I hate to disappoint you. It's not being locked up in one of those urban cities. Philippines is known for its beautiful people and its natural beauty. Certainly beautiful beaches. I know you hear that word beautiful all the time, but it's just, just the truth. If you're an outdoorsman at heart like me, you know, I don't fish or anything, but I love to be outdoors. You're going to love this place. If you don't like to come out on the beach, some guys don't even come out on the beach. The people I go back and forth with about the infrastructure and stuff, they're not athletic. They're not that athletic. They're not beach people. They don't come outside. So, I mean, it's, it's like, What's the whole point of, of being in the Philippines? You don't need to be here. But if you love the water, you love the beach, because everything about the beach is in stark contrast to what you hear about the Philippines. The, the trash, the pollution, the congestion, the crime and all that. It's not here. It's not here on the beach. So thank y'all so much for stopping by. Please help somebody wherever you are in the world today. Because if I don't know anything else, I know this one thing for sure. When we help other people, we help ourselves. Take care. Stay safe. Stay out of trouble. I'll see you next time. Don't be average over here. And don't do anything stupid. A lot of guys are saying, man, at three and a half women, I, I found one already. I'm not going to change. Okay. Keep coming back is what we say. More will be revealed. I'm just going to walk up here and let y'all catch some of these waves since it's not, since we don't have a, a strong breeze or anything. You can hear them clearly. This is why I came to the Philippines. This is why I gave away everything. I literally gave away everything to come here. I even gave away my car, basically. I lost money on it. 